this diagnosis is cost effective every patient normally i recognize in the two ways to the patient one diagnosis to be called as a pulse diagnosis the second diagnosis is normally as a tongue diagnosis or the inference diagnosis or the facial diagnosis palm diagnosis nail diagnosis skin diagnosis leg diagnosis sometimes is the abdominal diagnosis these and all really it gives the valuable information to us most of the time for according to uh, my clinical experience more than 80 percentage of the illness to be diagnosed by the 80 percent pulse diagnosis but of course to add up that i just look into that pulse you know tongue diagnosis but normally you can have a look when the pulse diagnosis may not give accurate answer that time cross check with the tongue diagnosis that it gives the instant information that you do have some problems normally off late i visited to the bank then two people and who came to our center and then he introduced me in the bank and then um, i just by looking him i told them both of you you having the back pain both of you having the back pain so simply i told them then they are surprised to see mesmerizing that how you said my problem that means something one key factor you should you can tell with seeing the you know with seeing the image of the patient by sitting the posture and then his abdomen and his the abdomen is coming forward then he do have the lordosis so lordosis we can say that is the problem is back pain is there because the back vertebra is pushing forward perhaps that have the reason still is when we understand about the pulse then 12 pulses you see it or 6 pulses you just see it but you will get the answer most of the times number 1 number 2 when perhaps already i completed the pulse diagnosis please you just keep studying that but still you wanted to know that nearly more than 10 videos of the pulse diagnosis is existing in our youtube channel professor samiullah you can have a look that gives a lot of information number 1 number 2 is the secondary information when the pulse is it shows that is everything is normal sometimes everything is normal sometimes we could not recognize that the problem sometimes maybe the fu visera is deficiency only the in pulses are existing sometimes both are absent so that time we need to cross check what could be the reason then you open the mouth and then how to open the mouth how to check the tongue that also very imperative we let me see that so how to check on the uh, uh, tongue so however this is as a non invasive cost expensive inexpensive mode of the diagnosis and also right so most of the see the this system or any system the medical doctors do the comparison ayurveda doctors or the unani doctors or the especially the modern doctors but i couldn't rec- uh, know they will recognize the problem instantly of course there are the lot of the shortcuts are there to understand the disease pattern the normally they look into that the pulse paradoxes pulse bisferences and arterial pulse these are the four types of the pulse they normally see but no one will see appropriately right in the modern doctors number 2 is they always check with the rhythm force and then quality and tension of the heart so normally in the four places they place it they'll see but this related to back pain you cannot see here knee pain you cannot see here right headache you cannot see much here 
only the rhythm you can see what is the temperature in your system what are the murmurs are there or the s1 sv nodes so is normal or abnormal you can have a look related to the purely related to the cardiac system and also the respiratory system apart from that you need to go and analyze on the somewhere else but abdominal percussion is required whereas in once you do the percussion you will come to know is the gas is bloating is there or not there but in our case is totally different in our case is different indicating the pulse is different then the tongue also it reflects wherever there is a problem internal organ having the problem that reflecting on the two places one place to be known as a radial artery the other place to be known as a tongue system right so on the tongue if there is the stomach get impacted so today is impacted today itself is not reflecting on the tongue remember if the problem is the problem is related to the headache headache easily you can find out by looking the tongue but over the period of time that is reflecting on the tongue yes or no within immediately or within one month problem is there yeah coating get differs the coating within one day or two day or three days the coating we can recognize in this way many shortcuts are there let me see where exactly what are the problems are there but whenever i'll tell you is the key points keep it in the mind that will be you ask them to open the mouth tell phatapat you have this and that problem then they are mesmerizing on you they'll come to you and then they'll happy to take the treatment since you diagnosed my problem without diagnosing the problem is different but you are talking is different but tcm says maybe problem is one somewhere but the causative factor is somewhere okay we understand but to make them to convincing to the patient that's very important but how you will going to convince to the patient to accept and take the treatment that is the key yes or no isn't it so now let me see the the different parts of the tongue were divided into 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 eight segments you can have a look here now the front side of the tongue normally to be considered as a uh, one to be known as a again how this has been identified you can have a look one is the upper geo middle geo lower geo pulse diagnosis upper geo middle geo lower geo this is the upper geo middle geo lower geo tongue also bring to the same level one is is the this is called as a upper geo in the upper geo what are the organs are existing yes but now the anterior one by third of the tongue what is existing yes same thing, same organs upper geo is existing here is upper 1 by 3 yes upper cavity is existing easily you can keep it in the mind don't get any confusion right the whole body is divided into how many segments three segments upper middle and lower right the upper cavity organs to be known as a heart and then lungs which including the brain as well right i mean to say i mean to say shenzang shenzang means ren 17 from the ren 17 to the pai hui do 20 to be known as a upper geo now the anterior 1 by 3 tongue to be known as a do 20 to the ren 17 area to be collectively known as a anterior 1 by 3 of the tongue number 1 number 2 the middle 1 by 3 to be known as a the ren 17 and ren 17 to the shun cho that is ren 8 ren 8 to be known as a middle cho right the posterior 1 by 3 that is the root of the tongue the root of the tongue this area to be known as a this area to be that is the lower geo that means is the kidneys 
intestines and bladder right divided into three segments now we have missed some of the organs that organs to be known as a lateral organs in our body what the lateral organs are existing liver and then gall bladder so liver gall bladder is connected to the anterior and then posterior that means the right and left lateral margins to be known as a liver and then gall bladder area but however it says the gall bladder is the right side of the tongue the left side to be known as a liver of the tongue however you can consider this both but liver is without liver cannot be sustain gall bladder without gall bladder liver will be the more burden to that so vice versa in this way we understand on the side of the tongue to be known as a liver and gall bladder now let me see there are the some cracks swollen pale red dusky thick coat and yellow coat so this kind of the information you need to understand on the coming down slides so what is the cracks cracks is there is the fibrous septum normally somewhere it happen cracks the the uh, entire tongue but maybe here or here or here or here that cracks may happen whether it is the root of the tongue or the the beginning apex of the tongue or the middle of the tongue you will get the cracks if you will get the cracks on somewhere then that to be known as a deficiency that to be known as a deficiency so this is as a general information i am giving you keep it in the mind if the cracks are there that indicating as a deficiency then there is a swollen is there a tongue is normally how many gram how, your tongue is you didn't measure you cut and then go to the gold jewelry shop and there accurately you will get what is the size and then put it on that machine then that will give the accurate value this is 60 g and 60 mg with mg they will give the information then you just fix it again right so whose tongue is more value that means more dampness is there the excess for example 60 g should be there and actually women having the 80 g that indicating that swollen of the tongue that is related to the the person is more obesity also to be known as a dampness get excessiveness but at the same time the tongue also get swollen or the heavy weight so indicating there is a dampness is more in them there is a paleness is there the tongue is very pale the tongue is pale indicating that the also deficiency cracks also deficiency pale tongue also to be known as a deficiency color pale color that means normally what is the right color of the tongue pinkish right pinkish pinkish red yes normally there is a white to pinkish the mixed of the pink and then white collectively to be known as a normal healthy tongue without any cracks without any indentation of the marks on the tongue right now the redness is there you know heat dusky is there some kind of the purple color of the tongue indicating stagnation any dusky or violet color or the purple color of the tongue is related to the stagnation what is stagnation blockages right some kind of the blockages inside our vessels or inside our internal organs which related to the stagnation then the thick coating is there the coating is very thick coating is there that related to the dampness yellow coat is there dampness and then heat so coating also very important the normally there is a white coating yellow coating pink coating so the people who consumes the the pudding mint after mint he had and then he is coming and showing you then oh it is a green color there is a problem then somebody had the you know uh, chocolate <laughs> right the strawberry chocolate 
then he is telling oh you have the excessive heat right somebody had the chicken that uh, means is a fried chicken i don't know then there is a yellow color coating is coming then you say it is excess heat but all are different you know after the cleaning of the tongue after the cleaning by the you know what we call as a tongue cleaner or you can use fingers also is the tongue cleaner right or the brush you make it as a invert on there itself there is a tongue cleaner is there there also you can do it but after that only advisable to see the tongue somebody is coming so with the uh, betel shaving so he uses nearly 2 3 4 betels 4 5 times somebody uses as a pan parag or as a gutka you know no so they are coming and they are showing ha ah. <laughs> that is really weird but that time you cannot recognize anything but however keep it in the mind agar cracks hai to kya hai fail hai to kya hai heat hai to kya hai good to swollen hai to very good coating thick coating is there ya thin coating is there right then yellow coating is there yes this much if there is a violet color of the tongue yes keep it all these things in your mind that always is good now like other diagnostic method in the traditional medicine the pink coating pink coating pink coating, pink coating. Thin, thin 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 coating is yeah that also deficiency thin coating is deficiency like other diagnostic method in the tcm tongue diagnosis based on the outer reflex of the inner principle which is the external structures often reflect the conditions of the internal structures can give us important indications of the internal disharmony now different parts you can have a look you keep it in the mind according to the upper jaw middle jaw lower jaw now upper jaw is connected to the tip of the tongue tip of the tongue so tip of the tongue especially to be considered as a cardiac system normally what happen during the uh, vital fever or the uh, the fever which is connected to the intestine or the typhoid fever so normally the papillae will be more predominantly affected that's called as a fungi palm papillae ha huh? on the tip fungi palm papillae will be predominant so that particular time you can recognize yes perhaps the heat syndrome in the cardiac system which leads to this problem even you can understand certainly there is a cardiac problem and also there is a vital fever positive which causing this kind of the papillae when the redness especially on the tip of the tongue mainly temperature during the temperature they do have but if it is prolonged level for the last 10 days the temp- temperature is there so that time you can recognize it is related to the related to the typhoid fever maybe uh, some fever is you know the, there is the dengue fever dengue is subsided not much these days right but uh, there is lot of uh, you know is yes? season is <laughs> over <laughs> yeah i think in kerala vainad and other alapula and other places in north karnataka uttar karnataka having some issues i believe is a lot of you know floods are coming so that's really very pathetic situation the people around there but in, there you can find they'll get the temperature more so that temperature is reflecting on the wear tip of the tongue so now i would like to give you some of the additional point itself so that you can incorporate it to treat the people so now in that condition the temperature is there that indicating two temperatures so one is the acute temperature the other one is is the chronic temperature that means the sub acute perhaps the the temperature is 7 days the normal fever the 8 days it causes maybe something else there is a temperature is not the normal temperature maybe that normal temperature is converted to the some other temperature before it came as a normal temperature then it is stepped into the dengue 
or the chikungunya or something else related to the typhoid or related to the pneumonia something so on so now whatever temperature heat get fares up the thermodynamic effect not taken place precisely that time which organ is important that the heart is important to control the temperature you can reduce the point to be known as a h8 and then pericardium 8 both the points are good point to reduce the temperature but drastically that will be helping down so once it reduces the temperature then the heart which is getting the flares up on the tip of the tongue that also slowly it comes out now the superior to that what is that the tip of the tongue then superior to that region that region to be known as a pulmonary system that to be known as a lung system i think somewhere we can see yeah here in this image you can see the first tip to be known as a heart the next level of the area to be known as a lungs now they have given as a the entire area to be lung but here you can see the my right tongue to be known as a right lung my left side of the tongue to be known as a left lung because when the lungs are get impacted the cough and congestion or pneumonia is there is not related to the both the lungs it is related to the unilateral lung either right or left so perhaps if chronic condition then the both the lungs are affected right in that way try to get the haziness and then differentiation sounds place the stethoscope that time you will come to know here you can find the wheezing sound here you don't feel the wheezing sound but right side you are getting the wheezing sound you place it on the serratus anterior muscles but here you can place it on the ribs region you will get the sounds but here you don't get the sounds indicating that sound means is the some kind of the you know uh, shortness of breath breathlessness sounds you can feel it here with through the stethoscope that time you can recognize the right lungs is badly affected left lung is not that bad so in that way which side they do have the problem we can recognize accordingly we just apply the needle on the one side for example now you wanted to use the lu7 normally lu7 to be used right side for the right lung left side lu7 is good for the left side of the lung right if the bilaterally the lungs got you know affected then uh, if the x ray we can see so what person is lungs having the good quality we can recognize if the lungs having the problem is both the sides then definitely bilateral needling is required bilateral needling is required to treat for the right and then left lung likewise the kidney also same right kidney points are different left kidney points are different right now you understand the entire area to be known as the next area to be known as the entire system is the lungs now come to the third level the central level organs to be known as a there is the stomach central organ that's called as a fibrous septum this called as ah, central the whole tongue divided into two segments yeah one is is the longitudinal one is, is a, this is the longitudinal section one is is the right the second one is left yeah likewise divided into two in the central part to be known as a the stomach system central yes stomach system on my you can have a look liver liver is always is connected to the left side according to some theoretical aspect liver is connected to the left lateral position of the tongue left lateral position of the tongue but here they were not mentioned on the right side of the lateral margin of the tongue to be known as a which organ very good gall bladder then come to the root of the tongue root of the tongue is indicating there are the two kidneys are there and then further the right side is the right kidney left side to be known as a left side of the kidney but this is the entire region this is the right kidney and then left kidney this is the right kidney this is the left kidney so hopefully you understand this then you come to know about the 
the intestine were not mentioned here that intestines also called as a para orb of the pelvic organs to be known as a intestines so where the intestines are existing at the root level only where the intestines are root level but to concern this precisely little difficult to understand the pathology of the kidneys you know is not super simple because that having the lot of circumvillae pa pa circumvillate papillae there are the two names are there but one name i remembered circumvillate papillae which is existing on the even you can see here also you can see here more papillae are there but here you cannot see but is the larger papillae are there that's the reason we can see here but here on the downward direction we don't have the much papillae but it is existing in the micro level not on the macro level right so hopefully now you have the clear picture so whole body internal organs so many organs 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 12 all the organs are here but anything is missing you have where you wanted to fix it any particular organ the pancreas are connected to the the again pancreas are connected to the spleen and then stomach area itself is the spleen and pancreas and then stomach and the liver and gall bladder is the lateral positions and intestines are the root of the uh, no root of the tongue the tongue diagnosis in the tcm diagnosing the disease patterns by inspecting the uh, major diagnostic method since is the yellow emperor inner classic uh, the world health organization recognized tongue diagnosis the important part of the tcm inspection right then the tongue is thought to provide the map of the organ systems and characteristics of the tongue in each region can provide the information about the overall health the tongue diagnosis involves examining the tongue shape size color texture vitality moisture and movement as well as assisting the tongue coating color thickness distribution and the root characteristics what normally we will see the shape of the tongue size of the tongue color texture moisture vitality movements somebody shape is different shape you know some people having the very long and lengthy shape that also not good some people having the very short tongue this i told you 3 inches but they do have only the 2 inches don't compare with the children children is different normal adult i mean to say and that also having some issues then the size the size is i told you nearly for the women is 60 to 80 and 80 to 100 for the male if that have the changes that also some issues the color is normal as i told you whitish pinky color is the normal healthy color then the color is different for them and the violet color is there by birth colors are different if there is anything congenital if anything congenital means by birth itself they do have some mole or some kind of the blackish color that you cannot predict that maybe oh liver stagnation is there or maybe heart stagnation is there or the spleen stagnation is there kabhi kabhi bachche nahi paida hue sochche datam bhi lekar aa jate आती छः महीने के बाद उसे इतना अर्जेंट है दुनिया में आए नहीं खाना शुरू करना <laughs> दांत अंदर से लेकर आता नहीं आई मीन टू से दॉन जेनेटल प्रॉब्लम सो दैट टाइम यू के नॉट बी रिकोगनाइज टोटली देर इज ए इलनेस और डिसीज और डिसऑर्डर देन ऑल्सो वाइटॉलिटी यू कैन सी यू जस्ट ओपन योर टंग देन कथाओं ने देन zuban kholo ah uh, ah uh, no we understand the vitality i mean to say ask them to open actually somebody is there the patient also came along with attender also came for example i am giving is with the child also came along with them open your tongue he is not opening patient but the attender is opening the tongue ha now you understand the vitality of the patient and then attender right 
So we ask to patient, not for her, but she started. This is one Choti Ranane. <laughs> no, in that way we understand once he open, slowly he opens that we understand the vital organs are very weak internal organs. Instantly we can say. When the patient is opening, uh, on the gutka people who consume, he cannot open the mouth, hardly open. Oh, oh. Yes or no? Because it's not opening, because inside of the muscles, of the jaws muscles, this is inside of the mucous membrane, so that got stagnated, that got constricted. However, there is no pain, but there is the more constrictive of the muscles, that's the reason he can't open. So even smoking people also having some difficulties, because the good smoke is go going on, right? The people... Uh, I recognize hardly, since how long you are, you know, using the nicotine. He said, no, I never smoked. Then I got, you know, something is, I was really uh, kind of the shock, why he is not telling the truth. Then he says, no. But reality after some time, I, you know, come to know after a few sittings, then he said, he is goes to the gutka parlor, kya wo? Hukka, hukka parlor, hukka where in the night clubs, so pubs and clubs are there, there he will consume the different flowers. Then he uses three hours he sit with the hookah bar. So he will drink something and then he consumes some kind of the hookah. So that also one or other way it's going the smoke itself. One or other way going the smoke is going on which is unwanted. Right? So in that way, so perhaps we recognize the, the, the vitality, we understand. When the patient is asked them to open, slowly open, then once they open, no, the tongue get tremors. The, lung, the tongue gets the tremors involuntarily, right? Not voluntarily. So how the hand get tremors? So likewise, this also get the tremors indicating that easily you can recognize so this person having the vitality is the poor vital organs the second is nervous system disorder right easily we can recognize is the brain function is the which is the nerve which is passing to the tongue is very poor and further it is a moisture so once you open the mouth we easily recognize many patients i was asking do you like to drink the water? I told to the, you know, our staff, please, you just serve some water to them. I recognize, yes, your mouth is very dry. You require the water. Still, they say, I'm in urgency. They say, no, it's okay, I can manage. But still, I serve them to water because there is more dryness is there. The dryness is indicating that, of course, the internal organ having the dryness, especially there are the two organs having the dryness, one to be known as a, lung dryness, the second to be known as a heart dryness, even sometimes rarely the spleen dryness. When the spleen dryness is the moisture, where the lips get dryness, when the lips get dryness, indirectly spleen also controlling, regulating to the tongue, so that to be known as a internally, the spleen also major role, no doubt, the heart is internal organ, heart is the monarch of the organ, but which is a special sense organ to be known as a, the heart special sense organ is tongue. So liver sense organ is eyes, the pancreas is lips, right, the spleen is lips. But however, the mouth also connected to the, the spleen and then pancreas. Therefore, spleen and pancreas dryness also could be the reason to cause the, some kind of the thickness is more or the tongue coating is very badly. Then the distribution and then root characteristics. The distribution is normally the saliva secretion is good. The excess secretion to the children that also not good. There is no secretion that also not good. If the good amount of the secretion is there, that secretion will be distributed entire mouth that indirectly will be helpful for our metabolism as well. This is the place where you can having the cracks. This crack is there related to the spleen and the stomach and then back pain, right? This much. Then you can have a look till down. Here also crack is there. 
that crack is belongs to the pulmonary system that crack is belongs to the chest cavity or the thorax cavity when the thorax having the crack is indicating swollen tongue also is there that means you do have the problem related to the pulmonary system as well cross check with them since how long do you have the breathing difficulties shortness of breath or breathlessness the people easily can tell that yes i do have the asthma or some other related issues then if they don't have the anything related to the lungs cross check with them then whether do you have the skin rashes or some kind of the skin eruptions or the allergy conditions they says yes i do have the eczema or psoriasis or allergy right so in this way you just cross uh, because one organ is not affected then the sense organ could be affected then is the the skin also good condition then the third you should ask is the sense organ this is a specific tissue is the skin specific sense organ to be known as your nose then the nasal congestion or the blockages every now and then he put the drops nasivian drops or the otrivin drops they put it or the saline water drops so that time you can tell them yes you do have the problem related to the you just quickly you just check with them do you have the nose problem or the lungs problem or the skin problem collectively you just ask them before they put a word to you aapko bolna hai i mean to say my presentation to all of you is you should put a word to the patient before putting to they to you right they shouldn't tell their problems you should recognize that is the result orientation which we required why do you are studying here you should recognize yourself that's very imperative so hopefully you understand this then come to the fifth spot which we call as a black spots and then purple tongue is there purple tongue is indicating there is a like a pinkish or some kind of the the strawberry color of the tongue is indicating there is a stagnation of the blood due to the stagnation of the blood the cold limbs are there of course is the varicose veins and painful legs headaches chest pain liver spots and lack of skin luster so normally what you understand in this the person the blood stagnation is their blood is not flowing precisely good so that time you should tell them you have the cold limbs or some kind of the varicose veins and of course is the body pain or the hand pain or the leg pains or the arthritis they do have there is a because of this and people will have the headache as well but you can have a look the there is a area which we call as a entire area having the purple color sometimes the tongue all the tongues are some cracks are here but this is not in that way but small cracks also indicating there is some problem in the digestive system there is some problem in the liver system keep it in the mind